Success on the base paths breeds confidence on the base paths, but Andrew Stevenson was maybe a little bit too confident on this play. A guy who had more than 40 steals in the minors this year with the Saints uh, was stealing on that play, stealing third, so he advances to third. Thought about coming home, all the way home on that play, and luckily for him, a couple of very bad throws for the Mets results in him scoring the go-ahead run of this game. Uh, so a guy who makes things happen, fun to see him smelling in the dugout there. Uh, also, some more kind of devil magic e play from the Twins. Max kept with a blue pit, and Jorge Polanco kind of uh, jokingly casts his bomber rod out to him, and Max shakes his head. Uh, but Royce Lewis had another couple big hits in this one, a couple of uh, RBI doubles. Here he scores Jorge Polanco from first base in the first inning to get the Twins on the board. And then later on, it's a deep one. The center field didn't quite get it out. Uh, good to see him punishing a 2-0 pitch there. That scored another run for the Twins. Carlos Correa, though, had the biggest hit of the game. 114.2 miles per hour and 439 feet. 114.2 the exit velocity. He just eviscerates this pitch. My goodness, he also had a double and a walk in this game, did Correa. So a huge game for him. Great to see the Twins play well. Great to see Alex Kirilov back. He was one for four. He takes Joey Gallo's space, but Gallo not leaving. He's going on the IL. Kind of an interesting twist to that storyline. Um, anyway, again, Lorice Lewis, Lewis excuse me, with the two RBI doubles. Carlos Correa with a double and the home run and a walk. Nice game from him. Uh, the Twins had eight strikeouts and five walks, so a really good night approach-wise. Pagan, Fieldbar, Jackson, Duran, each with scoreless efficient innings, and Dallas Keuchel Two innings over, or excuse me, two runs over five innings with six strikeouts. Pitched really well. And over to the minor leagues, starting off with the St. Saint Paul Saints and Brooks Lee, who's been really turning it up for the Saints lately. Here we see him hit a triple down the line. He also drew a couple walks tonight. And that brings his OPS up to 782 with St. Paul. You know, it doesn't uh, live up to what he was doing with Wichita, but uh, he's he's been a guy who's kind of turned it up as he's been at a level and again, in his first full pro season in AAA, Brooks Lee. Marco Raya with some much better body language, much better pitching. You see, whatever he saw on the board there, he was liking it. Uh, but yeah, Marco Raya pitched well tonight. Good to see it's been a mixed bag for him in AA. Uh, certainly he has been challenged much more than uh, he has been uh, up in AA, which you know is to be expected. He's a pretty young guy. That's a really high level. But Raya tonight, three and a third innings, two hits, no runs, no walks, three strikeouts. But probably most impressively, 39 strikes on 52 pitches. That's a 75% strike rate. And again, even good body language coming out. You know, again, still short starts for him. I'm sure he doesn't love that coming out in the fourth inning. But, you know, smiles, high five at his teammates. Uh, has a zero on the board as he leaves. Got to love that. Going to show you a couple of very routine catches that Emmanuel Rodriguez made. That might seem weird, but this was the last we saw of him in this game. In the bottom of the second inning, makes a couple routine catches, and then he gets pinch hit for in the next half inning. So, not sure what to think of that. Uh, hopefully he's all right. But, fast forwarding to the bottom of the ninth, two outs. Eric Brown Jr. hits this ball. Keone Cavaco just can't make a play on at first base. That ties the game, so it could have been the third out. Instead, it's a tie ball game, and that's a high-energy player there, former first-round pick for the Brewers. And uh, Ricardo Velez on the mound here just had a nightmare of an outing, a nightmare of an inning. Uh, Brown steals second, and the usually very sure-handed Noel Miller can't keep that throw in front of him. He advances to third base, but again, two outs, tie game. Just got to get that guy at the plate, focus on the batter, he gets called for a balk here, a walk-off balk, but it's a late call. Watch how late the actual call happens. Took forever, but it's a walk-off balk. Cedar Rapids loses on this, and, you know, Brown, you can celebrate a walk-off balk. I'm all right with that. You can walk off on anything, you get to jump around. All right, a tough way for Cedar Rapids to lose. Knightley Walker Jenkins update, he went 0 for 3, but did draw a walk and scored a run for the Mighty Muscles. Here are the notable hitting performances. Tony Walters, the Saints Harmon Killebrew Award winner for community service. Homer tonight in a big game, drove in four. Ricardo Olivar, another nice game for the Mighty Muscles. He is hitting 285 with a 403 on base and a 450 slugging. That's an 853 OPS. 
Yeah, and Marco Rye, another nice start. And actually, he's only given up two earned runs over his last 13 innings pitched. Still has a 6.12 ERA with Wichita. So a couple of really rough outings toward the end of July and then early August. But again, two earned runs his last 13 innings pitched for them. So finishing strong, hopefully. Here are the results. Twin Saints and Muscles win. Thanks so much for checking this out. Really appreciate it. Here are the premium members. Thanks to all the channel members for your support. We'll talk again soon.